Make sure to like button and subscribe, my guys, and let's get right into this video. So Apex Legends has gone through a lot of changes in the past two months. As you can see, we have a new LTM, which I've pretty much noticed that nobody likes at all. The ring flares are very annoying, and they just make everything about ten times more difficult. But there is some cool things about it, especially with the fire domes, which is what I just call them. They have a different name. I just can't remember it to the top of my head right now. But those are really clutch in certain situations, but we would not even need them if there was not these extra rings. And obviously we have the new slot, so it doesn't even take up space. So actually that is a pretty cool upgrade to our inventory. But I just feel like there are some better things that Apex could be doing with our time and their effort into this game. And I kind of want to just go over some of the things that we could be doing. And honestly, I also want to just quickly say that the 3030 repeater is just so underrated. It is almost like a better G7. I, I low key pop off with it every time I use it. G7 is used to be really good. I mean, it still is pretty good, but I just would prefer to pick up a 3030 any day over the G7. You feel me? But 3030 is just extremely underrated. I just want to get that off my chest real fast. So, a big thing I want to get right now is something I've mentioned in a lot of my videos in the past is Apex Legends needs to add solos and I'm not just saying that because I like solo queuing and I don't like getting whole squads on me as soon as I kill a team but I am saying it because it is so awesome to be able not to worry about having to carry teammates but as you guys can see definitely is when you are not focusing on trying to help your team you do a lot better and honestly there's there's nothing much more I would write, love more right now than solos and apex but instead we're getting the ring flares and it's just it's just a no no for me but I, I just oh, I, I just know how sexy it would be to be able to have solos we only had it for an limited time, limited time mode in season late season two, I believe, was when we had it, and we have not gotten anything like that since. I would, I would even be willing to do a solos if it was just armed and dangerous, and we just got shotguns and snipers again. But I would just really love to have just at least one solo mode because honestly, when I was in solos, I was the closest I ever got to getting a 20 bomb. I think I had 16 kills, and it was a blast when I was being solo but I can't do that lately so I just hope that's one of the big things I really want them to bring back on to the next thing I really really need to talk about is we gotta get rid of this skill based matchmaking it is absolutely fucking terrible I did a smurf just to see where I would get and I caught one game where I had a 2.0 KD I had two kills I played two games I had two kills in each game so I had four total kills so far in my entire smurf and I was already playing with preds I was playing with preds and I was level five this just tells you that it is extremely broken right now and it needs to definitely be fixed because that's it's definitely not how it should be if I'm level two I should not be playing with level 300 400 500 and people who are in masters or pred that is just a no that's a big no-no and it should continue to be a giant no-no and skill based matchmaking also screws up people who are also you could say I right now I'm only in platinum but now I am also playing in plat in not platinum lot well I'm playing in platinum lobbies but I'm also playing in pred lobbies and I'm only in platinum it is extremely hard now in apex especially with this and it has been for a while and I think if they can fix this it'll be a big boost another thing we really gotta talk about right now is the weapons it's just really weird with the how the care package weapons and what is still ground loot like we still have the devotion with with a turbocharger or a havoc with a turbocharger is absolutely disgusting like it cannot be stopped and i'm trying to figure out why the in 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 god's name do we still have a devo in the ground while we have a prowler only in the loot box so even with the select fire on a prowler even if you make that hop up hard to find the prowler isn't is a really really good gun but it's not something that cannot be stopped as you can say like the devo if you have a devo with a turbocharger and you're spamming that thing like a spitfire it will not stop i think that thing something they need to change is definitely get themselves a nice little uh 
a nice little um, weapon balance, more or less, so we can have our favorite gun back and playing with it. Because I personally, the playing with the Prowl was probably my favorite gun I ever played with, and now I can only find it in care package weapons, and it just makes it extremely annoying and tedious trying to find it. So that's something I definitely think that they should work on and continue to work on. And, you know, I just hope that we can get a Prowler back on the ground loot. I would even be willing to put the Mastiff back in there and get the PK back. But it all depends on people's perspectives. That is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to the end, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Everyone here is much appreciated. We're almost at 500. Have a great day. God bless.